Generally speaking, are you good or bad when it comes to money? I feel like I'm good with money. I feel like I'm pretty good with money because I don't splurge. But there has been a time in my life where I've been bad with money. And thank goodness I was younger, you know, and I'm not bad with money at 23, almost 24. So. What age are we talking when you were bad with I'm talking like probably 15, 16, um, when I was an OMG girl because, you know, when you're on the road as much as we were, like, I mean, we made money every night. So it's like if I wanted to go to the mall and spend a stack, two stacks, three stacks, I was able to, you know, and I just feel like at that point in time, it was my money. So it wasn't really like my parents had any jurisdiction over what I did with my money, you know, so I felt like at that point in time, I was really bad with money because half of that stuff I bought back then, I can't even tell you where most of it is or what happened to it. And um, I just feel like that's an important lesson to learn too. I would rather be bad with money at 15 and 16 when I'm a minor and I still have parents in my life who are gonna like cover my ass, opposed to being a grown woman, 23, 24, and I'm bad with money and you know, my mom and my dad are just like, well, you're fucked. <laughs> Sorry, we can't help. So. How did you make the transition from being bad with it to being good with it? Um, I think when my group disbanded, at that point for me, I was an independent artist. I was a solo artist and I really had to fund everything myself. So at that point, I was really humble and I, under and I just understood the value of a dollar. Even though I was still making good money at this point when I first started off, it was just, I had to pay for my videos. I had to pay for, you know, my photo shoots, my hair, my clothes and things of that nature. So it was like, oh, okay, like I really have to save and budget and make sure things are in order so that I'm not you know, living beyond my means or doing stuff beyond my means. Now, I was going to ask you this next question. I don't know if what you just mentioned fits that answer, but if it's something different, you know, I'll still ask anyways. Okay. But the original question I was going to ask you at this point was, what was your biggest financial regret so far in your mm. life? Mm. Was it something that you, you, you spent your money on and you regret looking back now? You know what? I, I would say I don't really regret any any money that I've spent. Reason being is because even the money that I spent that was just r stupid and I didn't really need to spend that money, I think it just taught, it all brought me to this point I'm at now where now I really understand the value of a dollar. Because growing up, I lived a very privileged lifestyle. Like there wasn't anything that I didn't have that I wanted. Like my parents were, you know, like my parents just always like spoiled me, you know? So it wasn't until I became an adult and I had my own money, I had my own career, you know, and my parents took a back seat to what was going on that I was like, oh shit, like this is really what the real world is. Like this is what bills are. And if I want this phone, I really have to go and buy it because they're not gonna just get it for me and put it on the bed, you know? so. I don't regret anything I've spent any money on because I've never went too crazy. Like anything that I made, like any big purchases I've ever made, like they were still pretty, they were pretty good purchases for me, you know, so I don't regret nothing.